veteran, Corey Kluber. That is correct, Corey Kluber towing the slab into Boogie Down Bronx on a Sunday afternoon. Kind of the season of what could have been there, but he's back now after making only 11 starts, and he, to me, is the X factor as we give you the scouting report on Corey Kluber. You know, he's got enough time to get it back, and the Yankees could really need him. He could slide right into that rotation behind Garrett Cole. Mullins begins the game with a leadoff walk, and Anthony Santander will step up now against Corey Kluber. There he goes. The throw down. Mullins safe ball into center field. He'll get to third. So it's a stolen base, and we'll see who they give the error to on the throw from Gary Sanchez. E2, the error on the throw. Did he go? Yes, he did. Santander down on strikes. Mancini at 263. 21 homers, 66 RBIs. Swing and a miss. Got him. Mancini down on strikes. Here is left hand hitting DJ Stewart. Kluber's 0 2. Strike three. Fastball inside corner. What a job by Corey Kluber. A runner at third, no one out, and he struck out three men in a row. And they'll take their swings off the 26 year old left hander, Keegan Aiken, who has really turned the corner. Really been a mixed bag, kind of in and out of the rotation, but recently put back into the rotation, and the numbers you see are elevated, but I tell you what. He has been solid his last three starts. Two and one in his last three starts with an ERA just above 2.6. Lined in the center field, it is a base hit. Mullins cuts the ball off, holding LeMayu to a leadoff single. Now he'll face Joey Gallo hitting left side. 3-2. He got him with a breaking ball. Gallo down on strikes, out number one. 2-2, and he struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Keegan Aiken. Here comes Stanton. He was the hero game one. Swing and a miss, and he did it. He did the same thing. Struck out the side. The A's to start off the inning against Corey Kluber. The 1-0 pitch. A swing and a fly ball. Left field. It's deep. Gallo going back. He's on the track. Gallo jumps up, and this ball is out of here. It's a home run for Austin Hayes. So it takes only one at bat. The hitting streak extended to 12, and the Orioles' lead is 1-0 over the Yankees. Submarino with 236, 10 homers, 39 RBIs. He's a right-hand hitter. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Got him. Strike him out. Throw him out. Double play. No two-way, and that will bring up Jorge Mateo. Swing and a miss. That's the fifth strikeout for Kluber, but the Hayes home run has given him a 1-0 lead. Glaber at 252, six homers and 43 RBIs. Line to left field, it is a base hit. Cutting over is Hayes. Voigt will stop at second. Throw comes into Arias. So Torres picks up a base hit, and that is his second hit since coming off the IL. So the Yankees have the bases loaded and one man out, and the hitter, Gary Sanchez. Driven deep to left field. There it goes. A grand slam into the second deck. It is 4-1 Yankees. Oh, the crack and crack one. It's a grand slam into the second deck in life. Oh, that Gary is scary. 1-2 offering. Good changeup. Judge swings through it and strikes out for the second time. But the grand slam by Gary Sanchez. Puts the Yankees ahead of the O's 4-1. to one. Here's D.J. Stewart, a left-hand hitter. Mullins at second, Mancini at first, two out. High fly ball, right field. Stanton makes the play, and that'll do it here in the third as the Orioles strand two, and we go to the bottom of the third. One out for Pedro Severino. There's a base hit down into the left field corner. Arias around second, and they'll give him the stop sign. Severino with a double and the Orioles with two in scoring position. Runners in second and third for Jorge Mateo and just one out. One two pitch. Hit well, but not well enough. Should get a run in though. Gallo grabs it. The tag. Here comes Arias. The throw to the plate. He slides in. He's safe. It gets away from Sanchez. Well, Joely Rodriguez will come in. Try to get the final out. Swing and a miss. Mullins down on strike, so Rodriguez comes on and does the job. 2-2 pitch. Got him. Down on strikes. Nice sequence by Keegan Aiken. 0-2. Oh, 
Sanchez scoops and off speed into left center field. This one sends Hayes and Mullins back. Mullins is the one to reel it in. Another one, two, three inning for Keegan Aiken. Rodriguez peers in, has his sign from Sanchez. Three and two. Here it is. Fastball ruled high for ball four. Stewart might have gotten the benefit of the doubt on that one. It was a pitch that looked like it might have been strike three. Well, while we were away, Jeff Nelson has thrown out Aaron Boone, and we could hear him from up here say, listen, I'm not going to have a running dialogue on the strike zone. And then the dialogue continued, and then he tossed him out. Mancini at third, and Stewart at second. And here is Ramon Urias. Chop toward first. It's a fair ball, backhanded by Rizzo, fires to first. Good play on both ends as Abreu got there in time, and a nice play by Rizzo. So Rizzo 0 for 2 so far today. Yankees have runners on first and second, and two men on there. That one is lofted into right center field. It is going to be a base hit. LeMayu will score. Geller will stop at third. It's a seeing eye single for Anthony Rizzo, and it's 5-2 Yanks. Deuces wild, pitch in. Voigt. Skies it down the right field line. Long run in Santander, racing in zigzags towards the line and makes the catch. Void is out, innings over, but Rizzo's single as the Yankees out in front, five to two over the O's. Now two down. Here's the ninth hitter, and that is Kevin Gutierrez. Rounded to short. Labor Torres. Not in time. Pure speed, and Torres took too much time to get rid of the ball. Gutierrez beats it out for an infield single. We get another look. You're right, Michael. He can run. Just hanging back just a bit. One too much of a curl hop and a little loft on the throw. He's safe. We'll see if that has an impact on the game. Yeah, Mullins, he can hit one out. He's hit 24 homers this year. 2-2 pitch. Hit well. Way back. Right field. It is gone. Cedric Mullins has joined the 25-25 club with that one. Third Oriole to hit 25 homers and steal 25 bases. And that play at shortstop very costly and now turned into two runs for the Orioles and a 5-4 Yankee lead. Two outs and no one on. Fly ball right center on the run is Stanton. Oh, what a play! What a play by Stanton. He took an extra base hit away and gets saluted by Abreu. Put a star next to that one. Stanton just rubs Santander. Gary hit a grand slam in the second inning, and that's the bulk of the Yankees scoring here. That one's drilled deep to left. See ya! A two-run home run for Gary Sanchez. What a Sunday for Sanchez. Two homers, six ribbies, and the Yankees lead 7-4. Now, nobody out bases loaded. This is where you need to pounce. Jemai Jones in. That's hit hard to right field. Stanton back over his head and off the wall. Mancini's around to score. The throw comes in. Stewart coming to the plate. He slides. He's in. And the Orioles have tightened it up. It's a 7-6 to six game with nobody down. And now the Boo Bird's really out at Yankee Stadium. In comes Jorge Mateo. One out. Orioles keep fighting back against the Yankees today. A little looper. It won't get it. It falls in. Hayes will score. And the Orioles have tied it. Jones stops at third. Wasn't it bad, Ben? Jemai Jones is at third. Jorge Mateo at first. There's a base hit. That'll give the Orioles a lead. An RBI for Gutierrez. Jones scores, and the Orioles are on top, 8-7. to seven. So production from the bottom of the order. Here's Gallo. Hit a two-run homer in the eighth yesterday to tie it up at three. Breaking ball, strike three. Strikeout number 182 for Gallo. Yankees down in the eighth. Oh, there is Tyler Wells and trying to collect his first career save. One two on the way. Left field. Right there. Hayes makes the catch. Orioles beat the Yankees eight to seven. Take two out of three and Tyler Wells gets his first major league save.